Welcome! Okay, so today we're going to be going over how to stay positive when you feel like negative things are happening in your life or just things aren't going your way. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks and some friendly advice. So if you want some motivation to stay on the right path, that positive, happy mindset, keep on watching. All right, so welcome. My name is Kayla. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. I'm happy to have you. Um, welcome to Dream Influencer, the place that we talk about law of attraction, making money online, anything positive or more motivating, you'll find it here. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you can get alerted when I post my videos. Um, so let's jump into today's video because I know that when things get tough in life, it's hard to want to push through that and to not dwell in it and to get caught up in it. You, you really have to work at it. I know everything I say in this video is going to be easier said than done, but if y it is possible. If you choose to do this and to see the good in your life, it is possible. It's up to you to make the choice though, to see the positive that is in your life. So with that being said, the first thing to know is when something negative happens in your life, usually you can learn something from it, right? It's a lesson, whether you need to learn forgiveness, love, um, to let go, um, whatever whatever the case may be, you can always find a lesson in something that goes wrong in your life. You can always learn from it. You can always take something from it. So always look for the lesson. Don't get caught up in what is happening. Look for why is this happening, learn from it, and then move on from it. But it is normal to get sad or upset. We're human beings, we have feelings, we have emotions. But the only thing is if you do feel those things, don't let yourself get into a, a state where you're, all of a sudden you're telling yourself these horrible things like, I hate my life, my life sucks, um, I just want to give up, like there's no point, I'm never going to do this or that, or, you know, don't, it's okay to be sad sometimes, but don't get to that place where now you're destroying your future with what you're feeling right now and what you're thinking right now. Your thoughts and emotions that you have now are shaping your future. So find comfort in that fact that you can feel positive, happy emotions now and you can direct your future in that way. And if you do feel sad, okay, but take the time to start writing down things that you are grateful for. No matter how big or how small, write them down and feel the gratitude for those things. Feel how thankful you are to have those things. And you cannot feel gratitude and sadness at the same time. It's just not possible. If you're truly feeling grateful, you cannot feel sad at the same time. Okay? Remember that. So if you're still sad, you're not truly feeling grateful. And then, Go ahead and write down what you want your future to be like, what you want to see in your future. Write down every detail and picture doing it, picture having it, picture getting it, whatever it may be, and know that you will have those things. Know without a doubt that you will have those things, that you will not be in the situation. You have control over your future. You should be grateful that you have control over how your future can play out right now. And remember, don't think about what you don't want because the universe does not hear the words, don't know. It doesn't hear those words. It just feels what you're focused on. And if you want to hear more about that, you can go and watch my last video. And then whatever you see in your future, if you can spend 15 minutes a day working towards that, just 15 minutes, start with 15 minutes and work little baby steps towards that. It's going to make you feel so good because you are slowly achieving your goal. It's so great to have a goal because it's something to work towards. It's something to look forward to. So have that goal, picture that and forget all the bullshit and focus on your goal and have faith 
and yourself and the universe that you will have that future that you're picturing. And you'll start to realize that you have total control over your life. You decide what happens based on your thoughts, your mindset, your beliefs in yourself and in the world. It's, it's, it's up to you. So if something negative happens, oh well, because you are working towards something so much greater and you're going to receive that. You're going to live that life that you're picturing. You're working towards it. You're, you have a goal. You're working towards it. Yeah, sure, this horrible thing happened that made you feel a certain type of way. You got upset, but then you said, you know what? It taught me this. And I'm grateful that now I've learned this lesson, but my future is going to look like this and I know it will. And I'm going to spend 15 minutes a day, probably more, but I'm going to start with 15 minutes a day working towards that goal. And you're going to feel so good. And just as you're going throughout your day, be present because don't let your mind get drawn back to whatever happened, the negative thing that happened. Be present in what's happening right now. Be present in the moment. Be grateful. If you find your mind wandering, just think about what you're doing and find something to be grateful for in, in that moment because it's up to you to redi redirect your thoughts. This is all about being mindful. So it's up to you to decide that you're not going to let this negative situation pull you down into a place and disrupt your future. It's all about your choices. You can choose to stay in a negative place. You can choose to dwell on the negative or you can take the lesson and you can keep it moving, which I highly suggest. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope this helped you guys. And I get so many sweet, positive comments on my Instagram. So I'm gonna start shouting out my favorite people um, in my videos. So today, my very first one is going to be my spiritual mermaid. Um, thank you to you, you're just so sweet. I, you made my whole day. And um, if you want to, you can follow me. I'll put the my Instagram right here, and then I'll put it in the description below. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful, fabulous day, and I will see you guys tomorrow.